Shout out to everybody out there in the world. This is Sound from Club Ambition. Make sure to check out the channel. More clips, Joe Budden content, academics content, Schultz, etc. I am here to cover and discuss. My name is Sound. I'm the guest, the host, the owner of the channel. Make sure to smash that like button. Comment down below. Share your opinion on the topic right here. Joe Budden goes at Andrew Schultz. In my opinion, you can conclude and insinuate he's calling him kind of fake. He's saying that he's not really who he is, etc. This is Joe Budden responding to Andrew Schultz. They've been going back and forth for a good five plus years now, or at least five for sure. Here we have it. Hey, when we talked like uh, back when I was still at Park Scrib, um, I remember we discussed uh, Andrew Schultz, mm. and you felt like. He, he, he occupied the lackey role. And I was saying he was a huge star. Just a, just a fucking, you know, he's going to just be one of these guys that just go down at, as, you know, um, one of the comedy greats. Um, or comedians that have, you know, traversed the social media dynamics and just won in his own way. As you've seen, his podcast is blowing the fuck up. Yep. What do you think about it? I, I think you probably have changed your mind on that now. No. Like, oh, he hasn't changed his mind? No. On which part? The lackey part? About the whole thing. About, about just even where his trajectory is, um, his work to get to this point. Okay, I think wait, it's let amazing. Me, let me make myself clear because people misunderstand me a lot and maybe I misspeak a lot. Mm. I never thought that Schultz would be unsuccessful. Oh, okay. I, Ooh, nev somebody, when I somebody never. Somebody says hack. You think about hack. Like, like somebody says you're a hack. That means like you, you have no talent. It oh just, no, that's not what I meant when I said that. What I mean, what what I meant by lack is someone that will, someone that will get in the room and adopt whatever they need to adopt to find success in this space. Mm. That's what I meant by lackey. It's like a chameleon. Yeah, just somebody that will just do it all. Like that reminds me of the game everything. when it comes to rapping. The the game but will that get works. On, yeah, the game will get on the track with anyone. I seen the game on the track with Nas. He sounds like Nas. He's on the track with Young Thug. He's sounded like Young Thug. Which that's he, what I mean. And he does that's, everything pretty good too. Like you're like, damn. Yeah, that's he really that's, kept up with Nas. Be like, damn, he's really keeping the melodic now with Thug. That's what I mean by that. Like in the black space, he'll lean into. The black space, I think, in the white space and his Rogan spaces, he'll lean into all of that alien. Isn't that white, a good thing, though? White shit. I mean, it, it depends on who's calling it. I like to be, mm. I like to be the same person in every space that I go in. But in terms of, I like to bring me it. to an equation. I like to be the same person in the same space everywhere I go in. So he's saying that Andrew Schultz doesn't do that. And to be honest, and I'm a huge Andrew Schultz fan, I do feel that way sometimes. But I think that's part of his talent. When Andrew Schultz is on Brilliant Idiots, we get a version of Andrew Schultz that we don't get when he's on Fra Flagrant 2. When Andrew Schultz w is on Joe Rogan, which he was just right now, we get a different version of Andrew Schultz that we don't get. It's different. It's different every time, I feel like. But that's just seems to be how he is or who he is, you know. But Joe sees it where it can be as a negative, like you're it's not you. You're being fake. It kind of comes off as he's being fake, you know. And, and I hear you. I, and I don't I've talked to him I don't about like that. anything that can just easily be molded or impressionable or just you can just like clay maybe it's just I don't curiosity like, i don't like anybody who you never really know the true spirit of how they feel and think because you can't trust who they are in all of these different spaces that's only my opinion i'm not telling anybody else to feel like that i have all the respect in the world for schultz and what he's built and his work ethic and you watched it you just watch it over the years. So you, but that's what I mean about respect. Like you don't have to like everybody. You don't have to be key key with everybody mm. to have respect. Yeah. For people, I don't fuck with Vlad at all. You know that for years. It's over a decade. But I respect. I can see that. What Vlad has built. Flagrant and two. The work he put into it. Whatever biggest, he did. Whatever comedy or podcast not, in the world It worked right for now. him. Yeah. 
No, no, I agree. I'm saying the same thing about about Schultz, I, and I think they'll both continue to have great success. But I don't, I don't fuck with that. It's like Adam. See, I, Adam, Adam is successful. Adam is doing shit that only Adam can do. Porn, all this shit. I'm looking at that saying, that great. My boy. <laughs> I can't fuck with it. Mm. <laughs> I can't do it. Right? You don't have the wife you on camera, man? <laughs> I can't. I can't do it. No. And maybe, but nah, I mean. Adam shit is, is entertaining. Have, have you like. Higher. He does it again you, further like, on. You know, over here. 90, it's like they doing where you ain't, shit ain't popped in six years. You know how many, you know how many life changing moments has happened in the last six years for that not to move at all? That's, that they don't the, be honest with you about it. No. I used to, listen, I, you know, I, I they tell you, to, hey, just use reels. Yeah, yeah, hey, yeah. Just use He's talking reels. about the algorithm. I, I will tell you some, Social some media algorithm. Things, I He's really saying the oh, social media algorithm works better for Schultz than for Joe Budden for some reason he's saying. Which I later then found out what it was. And, and I'm not saying that I probably, I, that I'm, I'm not accountable. Like, I, maybe there is something. But they won't tell you. From. It's like it's like you won't ever find out, nor will there be steps to like correct it. Yeah, yeah. Right? Yeah, but don't slap me in the face. Like I'm I've gone to my underground artist friends to just look at what their analytics say on their Instagrams. Everyone's analytics beats mine. Y'all got me in the in the blackest Basically. of dark holes. But that's what I was gonna say to you, okay. That's interesting because I get it. Any type of edginess or whatever yeah. could get you on that list. And that's why Charlemagne is like that now. Well, but, but also look at this. So like Schultz, Just using think, him as the example. I'm, I'm not trying to say yeah. that's all. Schultz like, is someone who grows a lot. I think he's the edgy as shit. I've watched him say some shit where I'm like, yo, damn, I wish. But I'm I like, think, that's why I've been trying to be a comedian the now. That we were Nigga, I'm about to hit the stage that people could be like, oh, Ack is just telling a joke rather than, oh, Ack is hateful. Because that is just two but different that's things. That's why I wanted to come back here and just last last time I was here, I was alluding to things and not being clear. I think that the algorithm is working in Schultz's favor right now because of all of the work that he's done and just relationships and like it's working for him and you see that. Really? Yeah, that's the point I was making about how his show is just going crazy, crazy, crazy. But when you take him, who I believe to be everything that you say he is, and put him somewhere else, that's not happening. Mm. Like you're not seeing any of the of the carryover from what I did. You sold out Radio City, so I know it's a real thing. See, that's what I'm. That's what I'm. You got to use people and get evidence, not about the people, but about the tech. And Andrew Schultz is a real thing. And if he c can do this here and not do it over here, then y'all are doing something back there. Okay. so, so, so and, and I think that's a fact. I think the people that have created content long enough know that they're doing something back there. Wait, wait, wait. Sorry. So okay. Okay. So what do you guys feel about this? Share your opinion down below. That's Joe Budden talking about Andrew Schultz. Um, I hope Schultz responds soon on Brilliant Idiots, etc. cetera. Um, yeah, man. I, I know in a perfect world, all of these content creators would be collaborating, similar to how they do in the Joe Rogan world. All these white comedians, they collaborate, they go on each other's podcasts. When it comes to black culture, we seem to not do that so much. There's too much ego, animosity, and obviously it's also like how Joe says, where it's like, we don't got to like each other. You don't have to. You don't have to. But... In a perfect world for everyone to elevate, I think it'll be amazing. Like, imagine Schultz having Joe Budden on his podcast. That would be huge. Imagine Schultz going on Joe Budden's podcast and going back and forth with, like, Ish and Queens Flip. That would be golden content. Different minds, you know, fan bases crossing over. But, you know, it is what it is. We can get the multiverse and, you know... You can get the old Spider-Man with the new Spider-Man, but will we ever see Batman and Spider-Man? Will Marvel and DC ever cross paths? That might never ever happen. <laughs> Comment down below, show your opinion that we have a Joe Budden talking about Andrew Schultz. Check out the Academics Joe Budden podcast on Spotify.